Shut up and sit down. Greetings, fellow Earth travelers. Oblix here, and today I want to talk to you about the Blacklist Streetmatic. How y'all doing today? So this was our Watch Gang Black Tier subscription for the month of October. Well, kind of. More on that in a minute. Uh, so here's the packaging. We did get this as our Black Tier subscription for October. Uh, this is not the watch I did the unboxing on, guys. So, we did the unboxing. I showed in video that there was a quality control problem with the, with the watch. To their credit, Watch Gang reached out to me. I did not reach out to them. They actually reached out to me and said, Hey, we saw your video. We saw that there was a problem. We'd like to take care of it for you. Send us the other one back. We'll send you a new one. I said... Yeah, at first I wasn't going to. I was like, you know what? You run what you brung. They send out a bad watch. I'm going to review a bad watch. But then I thought, you know, we're all human. Everybody makes a mistake, right? Let's give them a chance. Let's let's let them. Let's let's give Blacklist a chance. Obviously, it's not Watch Gang's fault. Uh, it's Blacklist's fault for the you know, lack of quality control. Uh, you know, everybody makes a mistake. Let's give them a let's give them the opportunity to correct it. So I said, okay. Let's switch it out. But only if you guys can tell me it will be another Streetmatic. I understand it may not be the same color. I can, I can down with that. But at the very least, let's keep it in the same family. So I can at least review like to like. And they said no problem. So they shipped me another one. This is the second Blacklist Streetmatic. This is not the original. It did, however, come in the same color. So let's get this guy open so you guys can see it. Stop looking at a goofy box. So you got a blacklist sleeve here, and you guys that watch the unboxing have seen this. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link in the down yonder so you can. So we've got a slider box here. It's actually kind of a cool box, a nice hard case. It's going to ship well, so no fears there. We've got our warranty card, and uh, watch game. Actually, you know, they've, we've actually got it. Watch, I don't know if it's watch game or blacklist, but we actually got it marked for a change. That's, that's a rare treat. Um, some silicon gel we can enjoy later. And there we go, the Blacklist Streetmatic. And I did say in the unboxing that I wasn't a huge fan of the coloration, but I gotta tell you, it's growing on me. Uh, the more I look at it, the more I wear it, the more that coloration's growing on me. So, yeah, fair enough. Uh, now remember, in the unboxing, uh, this guy was huge. Look how many links I had to take out of the band in order to get it to fit my wrist five links that is i've never had to take five links out before F you know four on a what was a previously a big watch three usually but i take five out of this guy so you guys with larger wrist this may be a good option for you uh though you will see here in a minute maybe not get that set aside get our extra link set aside so here we go, the Blacklist Streetmatic, and at first look, it looks pretty good. Uh, now this is the, the replacement, let's remember. Um, so, fully stainless steel, of course. Uh, you know, we have full links, they're not hollow, that's nice. It is a pressed metal buckle, and to be fair, the buckle does feel a bit cheap. Especially this piece of metal right here feels super cheap. Um, but it does function, and it is branded. So it's it's got a nice aesthetic to it, but uh, like I said it's just got a little bit of a cheap feel to it. Um, you know, I'm okay with the press metal. I, you know, of course you prefer not to have press metal, but you know, I can deal with it. But yeah, like I said, just a little bit of cheap feel, and if that's something that's gonna bug you, then just know that up ahead of time. Uh, brush work everywhere. There's not a piece of polish on this sucker. I mean, just every single thing is brushed and it's actually reasonable quality brushing um, I will say though it scratches like crazy um, all this brushed metal you know every little thing you run into is going to cause a little bitty tiny you know feather scratch on it and eventually those are going to add up and bug you you know if, if that's something that does bother you uh, we do have a brown branded crown branded crown branded crown I don't know words in my mouth uh, you can see, you know, on the end links, 
they are solid end links. Um, uh, <laughs> on a special note, the only place they did actually polish was the back, where the part that you're not going to see. And of course, the polish scratches really well too. So, I mean, that's just in shipping. The bracelet rubbing on it scratched the back up. Um, so there you go. Because uh, this guy did not come in with the plastic on the back. Um, so you get a nice sunburst. And this particular one has a gray. They have it in lots of different colors. Okay, you can get this. Um, this chapter ring here can be in you know yellow and blue and green and all kinds of different colors. The second hand will be in different colors. This one's I think they call the Laguna Seca blue. If I'm not mistaken, could be wrong on that. Um, it is a sapphire coated mineral crystal. Um, not a huge fan. And I will show you. I'm going to give you a quick wrist check. The watch of the day is the Heritor Morrison. Uh, normally I wear the previous month's Watch Gang Black Tier subscription when I'm doing the review. Today I chose to go with this guy uh, for a very special reason. We're going to pop him off and take a look. This was our very first Watch Gang watch. Um, the reason I want to wear this guy is he is also sapphire coated mineral crystal. And you will see right here there's a big old gnarly scratch on it. I have no idea where that came from. I do not remember ever bumping this watch into anything, and I'm seriously anal retentive about that kind of stuff. But it's there nonetheless. Sapphire-coated mineral crystal is no stronger than mineral crystal, to my experience. I'm sure some mineralologist out there is going to dispute that, but guys, it scratches just as easy. You know, so whenever you see that, that's a marketing ploy, in my opinion, uh, based off of this right here. I mean, that's a deep, deep scratch that I never felt. You know, that should tell you right there, sapphire coated, no bueno. Just treat it like it's mineral glass. Uh, so my preference would be to step up to either K1 or sapphire itself. Now, sapphire will shatter more, but I've never shattered a lens. I mean, I've never, ever shattered a, a crystal. I'm sure it happens. I'm sure there's people that have, but you know, I'm not one of them. You know, until that happens to me, I, I you know, I can't base anything around it. So I, I'm going on my personal experience here. Okay, so sapphire coated mineral crystal, not so great. Uh, reasonable thickness, not anything stellar, but it'll get the job done. Um, but I'm gonna roll in some photos of a problem with this guy. Now remember, this is our second one. The first one had a problem with the second hand not being lined up at all. Didn't hit any of the indices anywhere around here. And you will see on this guy, there's a few that it misses as well. Like the one it just passed by, the 10 o'clock right there. You notice it went all the way around it and never went over the top of it. You know, never landed on the top of it. Landed right before it, landed right after it, and kept on trucking. Now some of the ones over here it tends to line up a little better on, like that 1 o'clock it lands a lot on fairly well. I believe I remember the 2 o'clock wasn't too bad. Yeah, it's a little off but not bad, within reason. But like the 10 o'clock was pretty far off. So it's either in how they apply the indices or how they set up the uh, the second hand itself. Uh, I'm going to go with the application of the indices and I'm going to show you why. Um, at least that's what I think it is. Because there is zero quality control from the blacklist Manufacturing, you know, whoever's making these watches for blacklist has no quality control at all whatsoever. It's horrible, guys. It is off the chart bad. So I'm going to roll in some pictures, and if you will look at the nine o'clock right here, you're going to see a ginormous hair that is floating around inside that dial. Uh, right above the dial, uh, it's been glued down to the 9 o'clock indices. When they applied that 9 o'clock indices, they basically glue it to the top of the dial. They glued a big old hair underneath there. It is long enough and reaching out far enough that when these, the minute hand and the second hand go by, it moves it. It actually runs into it and pushes it out of the way. That, I think, has led to a problem with the movement not being able to keep time accurately. Uh, you know, I'll set it, I'll wear the watch, I'll go to bed, I'll get up, and it's like three hours off. Uh, so that is unheard of on a quartz watch. That should never happen on a quartz watch. They should be 
you know, minutes per month, you know, an automatic watch should be minutes per day. This guy's hours per day because, and I'm pretty sure that's because of that. I'm sure it's put some strain on the movement that didn't need to be there. And it's just, I'm sure broken some internals inside the movement there. Um, it's just awful, 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 awful quality control guys. I mean, we've had two of these, both of them have been a failure. Now, does that mean every single one out there is going to be a failure? No. You know, maybe I just got the two duds. I don't know. Uh, I don't have experience with any other ones to be able to tell you. What I can tell you is the two I've had have both been bad. This is the replacement, and the replacement is worse than the original. Um, I have contacted Watch King. This time I reached out to them before I put a video out and said, Hey guys, this is no bueno. Um, you guys need to fix this. I paid money for this thing, and there's a big old nasty hair inside of this thing. Um, that's, you know, causing it not to function as a watch. I, you know, I bought a watch, and right now it's a bracelet. You know, because it doesn't tell time. You know, it's not accurate in telling time. Um, so after a few back and forths and sending them some photos and things, they've agreed to replace it yet again, but they cannot guarantee me that it'll be a blacklist. I'm fine with that, and honestly, quite frankly, I'm done with this brand. Uh, I gave them two chances. That's one more than I give most folks. Uh, and, you know, they failed miserably both times. Uh, I'm kind of hoping it's not a blacklist. I'm kind of hoping it's something else. Um, you know, if it is a blacklist, great. We'll check it out. And hopefully it comes in, you know, in great condition. And then if it does, I'll, I'll let you guys know. I'll give you an update on where we're at. Just like I gave you an update with the uh, Morrison there. Still a great watch. Still love that, uh, the Heritor Morrison, this guy right here. You know, love the asymmetrical design, you know, over here. Love this, you know, this little cutout. Love the four o'clock, uh, crown. You know, just not loving the fact that it's sapphire coated mineral crystal. That's the only thing I don't like about this watch. Everything else I do like about this watch and enjoy wearing it. I just wish it was a different crystal. Um, so I will definitely, you know, when we get the new watch, whatever it may be, I'll definitely give you guys an update on where we're at with this thing. But as it stands today, knowing what I know today, I cannot recommend you guys go buy this thing. In fact, I'm going to encourage you guys to avoid this brand at least for now until I know more because right now two watches two pieces of junk um, and you know it's just bad I mean the, the bracelet is bad uh, it's not miserable but like look see right there see how that this link right here is not bending back down all the other ones bend down but that link it's because the metal has pressed into the metal and made it tight and you can actually hear it chirping you know it's just that's poor quality control it's rough edges it's it's things not planned out properly you know that can all be addressed I mean it's all easy stuff to fix there it goes again there's another one on the other side doing the same thing it's really common you know all these links will do it uh, this one won't so this one was well done you know this one won't it was well done but you know that one no pressure, no up, you know, hardly any upward pressure at all. It does this. It'll actually do it while you're wearing it on your wrist, and that it tends to pinch and is a little annoying. So, I mean, even in the bracelet, there's quality control issues, guys. So I just I don't think they invest enough time and effort in making sure these pieces are adequate for the price that they're asking for it. And again, these guys are asking two hundred and ninety nine dollars for this thing, three hundred bucks, three hundred bucks with a watch with a big old gnarly hair in it. It doesn't keep time and has a eh, bracelet. I mean, come on. Really? I mean, even with Watch Gang, I paid a hundred bucks for that, and I wouldn't pay a hundred bucks for a watch with a big gnarly hair in it. Just simple as that. Uh, unacceptable on any level. And, I mean, they should really be ashamed of themselves sending stuff out like this. You know, even if they fix it, even if they replace it, and I get another one that is perfect condition, they should still be ashamed that this went out their front door. Uh, you know, just not acceptable in today's day and age. I've got literally hundreds of watches sitting around me right now that I do not have this problem with. You know, I broke out the, the, the heavy magnifier, went through with this 45 times magnifier right here, and a light, and looked at a ton of watches. I bet I looked at 50 different watches trying to see if there was any hairs on any of the other ones. Now that I saw this, I was like, whoa, man, is that like a normal thing? 
So I just started going, you know, every watch I could find that had applied indices was looking, you know, like even this, this character here is, you know, that we've been looking at, you know, it's got applied indices on it. You know, they're not the, the numerals like this one. It's got the lines like, you know, the bars here and the dots here. But, you know, I went through and checked all those applied indices to make sure none of them did it. And I did that with, you know, a ton of watches. I probably went through 50 watches that I have um, to see. And none of them had that problem. Uh, none of them. So it's just ridiculous to me that this made it out their front door. Um, I will tell you guys, if you guys want to see the watches I wear on a daily basis, check out my Instagram. Uh, Instagram.com forward slash Oblix, O-B-L-Y-X. Every day I post a picture of whatever I'm wearing that day with some thoughts about it. Um, it's good behind the scenes, pull the curtain back kind of view into what I'm, what I'm doing and what may be coming up for review before long. So uh, check that out really kind of bummed uh, you know like I said the, the the look and the style was really starting to appeal to me um, more so than it did when I unboxed it I'm just really disappointed by the lack of quality control uh, on this piece uh, loom on this guy is actually pretty good you know the bars all light up the hands light up and the no the numerals the Arabic light up as well put a loom shot in it's pretty uh, excellent I gotta say uh, it does fade fairly quickly. You know, it doesn't hold the loom real well. Uh, but no worse than a lot of the other ones out there, to be fair. Um, you know, they a lot of them will light up really bright. Now, it's not super bright on the initial light up. Um, but it, it's very, very respectable. Um, and it does, like I said, it doesn't hold for a ridiculous amount of time. But it's also respectable in comparison to all the other watches that I have. So decent job on the loom. Now, case size, they've got it measured at a 43. We're gonna take a look. And yep, we'll go with that. Now, if you go across the crown, it's obviously gonna be a little bigger. We're looking at a 40, call it 46. They say it's an 11 across, yeah, they say it's an 11. Yep, we'll say we agree. And if you wanna replace this mediocre at best band, you're looking at, let's see if I can get this guy in here. Why do I always do these things on camera? Why can't I be smart and do them off camera? You're looking at 22, guys. All right, let's get a weight on this guy. And remember now, we've removed five links from this guy, so it does fit my 7-inch wrist currently. And we're looking at a 5.2. 5.2 ounces. And we'll go ahead and take a look. At the grams, 163 and a half for our, my European friends. Um, so there you go, the Blacklist Streetmatic. Um, honestly, a real disappointment. Colorations really started to grow on me. Decent sunburst in there. Not the best I've seen, definitely not the worst I've seen. Um, you know, good brush work, though it does scratch up pretty good. Uh, kind of a chintzy buckle but you know it does function um, but man that quality control just abysmal it's a darn shame I mean they made a decent looking watch that just doesn't you know the quality control just doesn't live up to the aesthetic of the piece so very very disappointing but I do think that's all the time I got for today I sure do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me as we take a look at the blacklist street matic and until next time, you guys get out there and make some noise. See ya.